All right, welcome. So today we're going to be doing some dodging. And this is a skill that helps us in lots of different sports, but we're focusing on soccer at the moment and it's really good for soccer and it's going to lead in tomorrow's lesson when we start using um, movement sequences. So we start combining some movement sequences like running, dribbling, dodging and shooting that we're going to do tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna give you a few tips as well before we do each dodge. Okay, now it's important that we're pushing off the opposite foot um, to go the opposite direction, okay? And our eyes are concentrating on the target. We also want to lower our body into the dodge so we're bending those knees and using our legs, which are our strongest muscles. So then in at the end of this one, I combine it with a soccer ball. So maybe you could grab a ball and do it. Now, you, if you don't have a soccer ball, you can use this for basketball. You could do this with your AFL ball and practice your bouncing as you're turning and dodging as well. So it's a really good activity for many sports or hockey or anything where you're handling a ball. Let's go. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on dodging and I hope you can go out and give it a go in the park or at home um, perhaps as well. And this is a great skill as well, especially in the junior years. We practice this a lot when we do tagging games and then it transfers over in the senior school where we start trying to play full games of sports as well and when we, where we get into our gala days where we play against other schools. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.